Welcome to another lesson, grade 12, uh, with Kumalo M, the Geography Sangoma. Uh, today, grade 12, we are going to look at the tertiary economic sector. So we'll be looking at the tertiary economic sector. If you have not watched lesson 10, lesson 10 continues from uh, the, 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 the last part of the secondary sector. Now we are on the tertiary sector. Now, grade 12, it's very important that you watch the previous videos. You can get them in my YouTube channel, Geography with Kumalo M, and and then you watch those videos and then you can understand what we are talking about without a waste of time let's get to today's lesson now under the tertiary sector grade 12 we have to understand the concepts around the terminologies of the tertiary sector now the first terminology grade 12 there it will be the tertiary sector on itself what is a tertiary sector it involves the provision and the distribution of services to businesses and the consumers yes sometimes you we, we, we transport goods to people who are selling so it's to businesses and to consumers so that is tertiary sector so in simple terms the tertiary sector it deals with the provision of services and goods now we look at the concept of centralization and decentralization, the one we've done in the previous lesson under the strategies of develop, uh, industrial development. Now, centralization, it has to do with over-concentration of activities in a few core industrial areas that we have talked about the PWV, we have talked about the Port Elizabeth Untenhig, and the other two that are not examined today, uh, this year, uh, which is the Devon Pine Town and the South Western Cape. And the decentralization has to do with the process where industries move to the outlying areas which are underdeveloped and then we talk of trade trade it will be the exchange of goods and services for money and then we have local trade when we talk of local trade we are talking about the exchange of goods and services within the country so now when we trade goods within the country we call it local trade then we have international trade and international trade grade 12 it has to do with the exchange of goods and services between two or more countries so between two or more countries therefore we talk of international trade then we talk of balance of payment, the difference in the value between the visible imports and visible exports. Uh, actually, we talk of the balance of trade, the difference in value between the visible and the invisible imports. Now, the balance of payment and the balance of trade, they'll be similar. Then we talk of exports, goods and services that are sold to foreign countries. Then we've got the favorable trade balance which is a positive trade balance now it occurs when the value of exports is greater than the value of imports then we have foreign exchange the money paid to south africa by other countries for example in us dollars in pounds or whatsoever then we've got imports imports are goods and services that are bought from uh, foreign countries then here is a graphical presentation grade 12 you may be asked graphical grade 12 uh, uh, questions so you expect the, uh, uh, graphs like this now when you're given here this is the, the the sector the activities that are happening in the sector but when you look at agriculture there that's a primary sector and when you look at mining there it's a primary sector so sometimes you may be given different activities then you have to classify which ones fall under the tertiary sector and which one fall under the primary or any other a uh, sector of the economy then we look at the concept of trade uh, trade whether it is local or international trade so we look at the tertiary activities contributed 74 percent to the gross domestic product in 2020 it had higher earnings than the rest of the sectors so now this sector or this trading it is uh, uh, contributing more to the GDP so you will have to understand the role of trade local and international in economic development and you must also understand the definition of trade balance and the trade agreements now trade is very important in improving the standard of living of people so we have to sell so that we can get money so that we can be able to take uh, care of our citizens when a country exports more and imports less the GDP 
GDP will be higher. So when we sell more and purchase less from other countries, then our GDP is going to be higher. And what does that mean, grade 12? It means that we have a favorable trade balance or a positive trade balance balance and then we look at the positive trade balance of trade is important to ending a global poverty so one of the importance for for, uh, for, for a country to have a positive trade balance is uh, ending global poverty then we've got countries that engage in international trade tend to grow faster and provide better income and more opportunities to their people so as the as a country if we are engaged in international trade we will tend to grow faster in the economy and be able to provide better income and more opportunities to their to our people and then we've got a concept of free trade a free trade benefits lower income households by offering consumers the cheaper goods and services so the role of free trade it, free trade is an agreement now free trade it's trading without restrictions so it benefits how the economy it benefits the low income households by offering them the consumers cheaper goods and services then we look at the role of transport uh, whether it's public or private in the economic development so once we have a good transport infrastructure remember transport network is part of infrastructure grade 12 once we have a good transport infrastructure it promotes transportation of goods to the market so it promotes transportation of goods to the market and then bad transport infrastructure delays the goods so it takes time for the goods to reach the market so you can study them the good it makes a, a, a transportation to be faster and we are on time and we are able to meet our customers needs and then goods a good public transport assist workers to reach their working place so if you've got good public transport it will now assist us workers or any worker to do what to arrive at work on time then when too many people use their own cars to work it results into traffic congestion now and delays to reach in their working place so now once many people are using their own cars to travel to work that will cause what we call the traffic congestion which you know is traffic jam then we also look at south africa's trade with different countries as south africa let's look at which countries and how trading is in south africa south africa's biggest trading partners are china germany the united states the uk india and japan the goods that are exported are diamonds fruits gold metals minerals sugar and wool south africa's main import products are the machinery and we look at the mineral products vehicles and aircraft vessels chemicals equipment components ions and steel products then we also look at the the balance of trade now the balance of trade was about 17,25 billion dollars in 2019 therefore the best balance of trade in recent years was that uh, 5,95 it can be negative then a uh, billion dollars so now it is very important for a country to trade then take a look at the causes why does a country get a negative trade balance why does a country get a negative trade balance what causes negative trade balance we remember we said that when the trade balance is negative we it means that now the country has purchased more and sold less our exports are lower than the imports so the causes of negative trade balance will be the low productivity what can cause low productivity grade 12 it can be climate change it can be people striking on the road that lead to low productivity trade barriers restrictions on trade the strong currency the reliance on specific exports let's look at the role of trade and local and international trade in the for economic development now we look at the positive trade but the positive balance of trade results in the country earnings more, earning more money than it spends on foreign so when we have a positive trade balance it simply means that now the country it is get, it, it is earning more money than it, spe it spends and then we've got export results in earnings of foreign income so when we export we get foreign income that 
works in the good favor of one of the the country so the export results in earning of foreign income then exporting processed goods results in more foreign income so when we are exporting processed goods it results in more foreign income money coming from other countries in terms of dollars pounds or whatsoever then government has more money to spend on delivering to services and then it improved local trade contributes to the GDP of the country. So if we improve our local trade, it is going to contribute to the GDP and in return, it's going to make our country to develop economically. Then we look at the income and often results in better job opportunity. So once there is good income coming into a country or good income that is generated in a country, that will lead to what? It will lead into better job opportunities and an improved standard of living. So you must understand and you must be able to explain the role of trade and how the negative trade balance influence or affect economic development. Now, you can also be asked questions in terms of graphs. You can see there is a world export as percentage of GDP. So now you can be given different years. So you must be able to study graphs. This is a source from the World Bank. You look at from 1960 up until 2014. And then that side is the export, the percentage of exports of goods and services. How much are they contributing to the GDP? So in each and every year. So the questions become related to the graph. Remember, 50% of those uh, answers to those questions are on the diagram. So I hope this uh, was a lovely lesson and I hope you have understood better the information and I hope you will use it. This is from me, Kumalo M, the Geography Sangoma. Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching this lesson. Bye-bye.